Hey guys, Hummus28 here, and today I'm bringing you some more Colony Survival, and today we're gonna actually do a quick playthrough, once I build pretty much everything, we're gonna do a new world here, let's see, Colony Name, let's name it, Mono Risu Vil, yeah, that, that I spelled Vil wrong, that, that's a great name. Now let's double the monster amount, you know. It's more of a challenge at night when there's more enemies to fight. And as of my last Colony Survival video, there has been some updates which added new things that I'll be able to show you today. Okay, so let's see. We want to find a flat area. So we're going to head down this valley here and see what we can come up, come up against. Okay, there's a flat valley down here. And this is where we're going to build the main castle. Let's see if we can head down here. Ooh, I might take some, yeah, I took some fall damage. You always want to be careful. Although it doesn't look like you can, you can actually die. Let's see, we got our wood. We got straw. We need to build beds. And one of the new things the update added was the fact that I can't do what I did before with a bunch of wheat farms. Wheat now gets turned into flour, and flour has to be made into bread. So let's see, we need a nice 3x3 three three base. Let's plop it down. Now we're going to need some beds. Let's craft some beds. We're going to need a lot of food here. So we're going to start off with, you have 300 food. So we're going to start off with three farmers. Oh, I need to pull the rest of my straw. Let's see, this costs three straw. Okay, we have enough. You want to be careful using straw and making too many berry farmers. That's the new thing they added. Berry farming. The way it works is it's, it's pretty much similar to wheat farming, except it has to be bigger than 5x7 and the max is 5x10. So just do three of these. like so and hire three guys so now they're gonna come and as you can see with their red shirts that means they are berry farmers and what they're gonna do is they're gonna take the berry seeds out of my inventory and begin to plant them so while they're doing that and getting more food I'm gonna continue building up this base here now we're gonna need some stone so let's quickly dig into the ground here let's see one Two, three, four, okay, so five by five, five plot. That is kind of the most optimal because you get good light in. But I must also be quick because the nighttime is coming and I need to defend the villagers. So, one of the new things that they added with the berries is berries, they grow very quickly, so they'll be harvesting berries every day, which means we'll always have food being generated, unlike wheat, which takes two days to grow. The only difference is that berries only provide a food value of 0.6, whereas wheat by itself also provides a food value of 0.6. But when cooked in a bread, it has a food value of 3. So you can see why it's so much better. But it does take more steps in the process. Because wheat farmers need 2 days to harvest it. Because it takes 2 days to grow. So they need that second day to harvest it. You need someone to take that wheat and turn it into flour. So you need a guy for that. And then you need someone to take that flour and turn it into bread. So you need another guy for that. So the process of making bread takes three guys, and since each guy needs five food a day, you can see why it'd be very difficult trying to do that early on. Let's see, we're getting stone here. Very nice. I want to see if I can hit the, the infinite lair very quickly here before sunset. Because as the colony grows, we are going to need lots of iron ore so we can build more arrows because I did set it to double monster spawn. So as the colony grows, there's going to be definitely a lot more zombies, but also, due to the increased population, there's going to be a ton of them. And we only have 300 arrows. Let's 
See, I can't tell how deep I am. Yep, I still haven't hit it. It looks like sunset is coming. I'm gonna have to make a lot of haste here. And some of the things that I read in the patch notes that they are thinking of adding, you know, their roadmap, they want to add other types of zombies as well, because right now the only zombies in the game are the ones that you shoot once and they die. They said they're going to add some that take more hits, that are bigger, faster, that kind of stuff. Have, have a bit more variety in the zombie types, so there's a bit more of a challenge and a strategy to building your base. Let's see. I still haven't hit the ground layer. I think it should be over here. Nope. But sunset is coming, so I need to build the base. The base needs walls. So let's come up here. As you can see, they've been farming all day, producing 27 berries. But they are going to bed now, which means night is coming. Oh, that that's a hit to my efficiency, actually. One, two, three. I completely forgot about building, about putting crates down. Okay, so let's see, so crate there, there, and there. You need crates because they need a place to access the stockpile. So since I didn't, they were having to walk all the way back here, which is extremely inefficient. So let's see, like so. So we're going to do another two on this side. more stone here. Like so. It looks like they're coming to bed. They are. Which means the zombies will be coming very soon. I need more wood. All of it to wood. Okay, so night time's coming. In one day they produce 51. So that's what like 30 food value, which means it takes two days in order to me to hire a new guy. Because they need 15 a day. Okay, let's build up the walls here. So the entrance will be right there. And at a two wall, I shouldn't have to worry about the zombies getting in just yet, so I can keep it. Oh, so I can keep it right there for now. Let's see how we're gonna. God. I made it three wide on accident. That's not good. Let's see. It's definitely nighttime. I'm gonna need a bow to defend my villagers. Okay, toss, toss the wheat. Toss the grass. Don't see any zombies just yet. But they're out there. They're out there waiting, watching. I think I saw one right there. Unless I'm hallucinating. Oh, no, I see them. They're walking in the distance. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so let's see, like so. I'm gonna have more beds on that side. Okay, so they can only come in through there, which means it'll be easy for me to pick them off. And I missed that one. Missed again. Okay, let's put it right on him this time. Oh, easy. Oh. <laughs> it died and it, and it lagged the game out. I wonder why that happened. This game is in early access, as I said before. Okay, so we got some coming up. It's not too bad for the first night. We only have three colonists. So it's not like there's going to be a ton of them. Since this is the entrance right here, we probably want a watchtower of some sort on this corner here. See, that's one down, two down. I only have 200 arrows in stockpile, 95 in my inventory, so you got to be careful here. you got to make sure your villagers are, are easily defended. I might end up building a wall around the territory. Have wheat farmers outside the wall, they come inside the gates. It would work very, very well. 
Let's see, they're all coming from over there. There's not a whole lot behind, so I don't really have to worry about that. Let's see. Yeah. Once, once there's a big wall, there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Okay, there's three more. I think this, yeah, the sun is coming back up. So, that will be the end of the first night and the first day. Let's see, let's take out that zombie there. Take out that one. Are there any behind us? No. Okay, so we, we've survived the first day. It's almost the first day. We've almost survived. Once these guys wake up, we know it's the morning. Because they wake up at sun sunrise every day. So a bit after sunrise. Which means that zombie should just die and I don't have to waste an arrow on him. Waiting. 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 It's getting a bit close. No, nope, I, I had to put him down. But that one will die. Now there's a zombie body in here. Let's see, the sunrise, and they're awoken, and we have survived the first day. So you see, that, that's how simple it is to get to get a quick base up and running in the first night. So this day, let's see, we're going to set up some wheat farms. We're going to set up... Hmm. Should we? We'd probably... We're going to set up a wheat farm so we can stockpile wheat, actually. So while we get to that... This is Thomas28, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.